Rate this video to help out the people who are currently struggling with starting out. Here is my full masterclass on calisthenics. Let's start from the basics. You can train calisthenics in three ways. The static way, the strength way and the hybrid way. I will be diving in on every specific training style and how can you incorporate it to your trainings. The static way. The biggest mistake beginners make when training statics is usually that they skip their fundamental strength training. I wasted three years of my first year simply training static holds. I was unable to perform a clean muscle up, but I already was learning the front lever. I was unable to hold a handstand, but I was already training for the planche. If you are a beginner, I understand the excitement in training those skills, but you need to take a step back and train your basic strength first. If you can do strict 5 muscle ups, 15 pull ups, 25 dips, and you can hold a steady handstand, you are ready to move on. The static way requires a lot of consistent daily trainings. This is what the professionals won't tell you. I found out through the years that great static progress only comes with two factors, a solid baseline strength, what we talked about before, and a low intensity, high consistency formula. Let's dive into it. Let's put some parallels here to make it extremely clear. When going to the gym, you simply hit the specific muscle, train the shit out of it. Break the fibers, go home, replenish the fibers and your muscle gets bigger and stronger. In statics, this needs to be done at a micro level to help the muscles adapt to the load. Doing daily front lever holds will far outweigh the strength gained when doing only three times a week, only specific days. Statics is something which needs to be done every day on a low volume. When I train statics, my split usually looks like this. Every third or fourth day, I will do my max load day. So all the days before that, I only do light workouts. This gives the needed muscles good adjustment time and not to so-called forget about the load that it needs to carry out every day because we want to hold it every day. My static output in those light days is never more than 70% of my max capabilities. If my max front lever hold is around 10 seconds, on the light days I do multiple sets of 7 second holds. If my maximum output day comes, I will try to increase my max hold to 11 seconds. The next lighter days I will increase it to 8 seconds. This of course is very subjective, but with this style I have found the fastest progress I have ever achieved. This goes to any static elements which you are considering training, whether it be plants, handstands, front levers, whatever you want. The strength way. The strength way is what majority of people should start when considering starting calisthenics. Some of the best basic exercises in calisthenics to build good strength are pull-ups, dips, push-ups, squats. But how do you properly get strong at those, you ask? I'm here to bring a little analogy. If something is too hard for you, do the easier variation. If a normal push-up is too hard for you, do knee push-ups. The rep range should always be between 2 to 6 reps. With that range you can develop the good strength over the weeks. Let's say pull-ups. If you're unable to perform a single pull-up, take the rubber band and aim for 2 to 6 reps. Do them until you fatigue, usually it takes up to 3 to 5 sets, and you should replenish your strength before you go and do another set. So I usually suggest people to rest between 2 to 5 minutes when training for strength, because you need to replenish all of that energy. In calisthenics you can always do variation of a movement way easier, because it all boils down to leverage. If you can do, let's say, 3 pull-ups, but you want to do more, do multiple sets of 1 or 2 reps, or use a rubber band, or do Australian pull-ups, and slowly increase the rep counter over time when doing the lighter moves. You will be amazed on how fast you can gain strength. The more you gain strength, the longer your reps will be. One of my favorite combinations which you can do to gain strength is the following. Do one muscle up, one dip, one pull up in a single run. Start with one of each move, then slowly progress and crank those numbers up. Once you can get your rep range to 6 to 12, then the muscle building mechanism starts to kick in fully. If something gets too easy for you, simply do harder variations or add extra weight. The hybrid way is what I call the unity of physical aesthetics and the ability to perform static moves. This is the way which I currently conduct my trainings. This should be done after you have enough of the fundamental strength. The hybrid way is usually a 50-50 split on strength training, hypertrophy, fucking hell I can't say the word, Hyper hypertrophy, hypertrophy, fuck! Doing a 50-50 split, which basically means you build the fundamental strength of your body and the other half of the 50% you do statics. And here is a routine which helps me a lot.
Pull, push, full body. On the pulling days, I usually train everything that is related to pulling exercises, either pull-ups, muscle-ups, front levers, front lever pull-ups, etc. On the push days, I do planche work, handstand, dips, push-ups, whatever you name it. And on the full body day, I train every single muscle group for hypertrophy with harder skills or with extra weight. I like to give my body a one day rest before I do the full body workout. This regime helps me somewhat maintain and improve my static skills and at the same time grow some decent muscle mass. Rest days. I covered some elements already about resting, but the most important thing is to listen to your body. At first it's hard to find the balance, but I'd say after six months of consistently improving, you will learn to understand when your body needs to take an extra rest day or to pump more. Rest is different to every people when training light statics, let's say your eight hours of sleep will do the work and you can train on the next day. If you're training a lot, have two days of rest and rest days should always still be active. Remember that go for a walk, stretch, do extremely light work to get the blood moving. This can tremendously benefit your gains in the long run. Diet, healthy foods, avoid high saturated foods, that is the basics. Eat clean, don't buy takeaway food. On the static front, I simply eat my calories at a light surplus. When I'm doing strength training, I have much higher surplus of calories. That is due to when training strength, your body needs more fuel. Simple as that. I suggest beef, eggs, vegetables, the basics. I'm not a big carbohydrate fan. And what I found extremely useful is to load some carbs up before a workout. This I did not know for most of my fitness life. But before having a heavy workout, have about 100 grams of carbs one hour before a workout. That will keep you fueled turning the training. And for the record, I do train legs, but I'm not an expert, so I left all the leg workout part out of the video. I simply train my legs as much as I need them in my skill work. So in conclusion, my whole training philosophy is train to adapt, don't train to fail. If you're building skills, the main goal should always be to adapt to the load. This way you will make much faster progress and inevitably gain the muscle size as well. I hope this video helped you. All in all, the most important thing is to say consistent. If you're interested in direct coaching by me, you can find my website link down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below what would you like to see more of me. And thank you for watching. Till the next video. Bye.